All right, just a quick video because I've gotten literally 50 plus comments in the past hour saying, why don't you get an uh, Ace 900? Ace 900 is really cool. However, if you look right here, overall vehicle size, you'll see that it's 59 inches wide. Um, so that'd be really cool. Like if you were in the dunes and you could use all that power and stuff, um, but that's wider than my 900 Razor two seater. Uh, that's on portals. I've got it on portals with 33s and I'm at 54 and a half inches wide. So yeah, it's also a thousand seventy five pounds. Um, so really, I mean, it's definitely cool and it'd be fun to sit in the center, but I really don't see why you just wouldn't get a, uh, a Razor 900 S it's like two grand more. You can put a passenger in it. Same motor transmission, obviously. Um, and if you look right here, it's half an inch wider and it seats two people. And it's only 100 pounds heavier, less than 100 pounds heavier. So I really don't know why you would actually buy uh, that one. It'd probably be fun if I lived in the dunes or something, but um, definitely pretty pointless in trails. What would be awesome is to put. Uh, that motor, which I assume is the same as the motor in my Razor, and a little 570 Ace, or put it in my 325 Ace, because then that thing would do wheelies and stuff, and short wheelbase, and yeah, it'd be lots of fun. But yeah, that's why I'm not even remotely considering a 900. What I'm probably going to do is whenever I blow up my 325, I'll swap in a 570 or a um, 900. It might be a little bit of work, but they all use the same transmission. And if I did that, I would already have the gearing because the 325 Ace is the same gears I swapped into my Razor for the reduction in the transmission, which are the same gears in the 2017 High Lifter Edition Razor. It's like a 27% reduction over the standard uh, 900, 1000s and stuff. But yeah, that's the answer to your questions. So please stop typing that, guys.